people seem to have trouble uh, when reconstituting peptides. And the trouble lies in the ratios of the liquid you're using to reconstitute, whether it be um, bacteriostatic water or sterile water for, uh, for injection, and uh, the uh, amount of peptide in the vial. Most of these vials only hold three or four milliliters of diluent. So if you're starting out with five milligrams of, let's say, BPC-157, and you put four milliliters of diluent uh, into that to reconstitute, then you take 5,000, you reduce the, the milligrams to micrograms, you take 5,000 micrograms, you divide it by 400, and if my math in my head is correct, you'll end up with 12.5 micrograms for every single line on the barrel of your syringe. So if you pull back to 10 units, that's going to be 125 micrograms. And you can do this, you, you just start out with your peptide in milligrams, reduce it to micrograms, and then take the milliliters, and four milliliters is gonna be 400, because you each milliliter has 100 lines on that syringe if you're using a one ml syringe. And it's so easy to come up with how much you're taking and you're dosing when you take this step first. No matter what peptide you're using, you'll find this works. So try it. Uh, I, m most of the emails I get about peptides is how to, <laughs> how to reconstitute them. People just have a hard time with the math for some reason. It's very simple. Once you reduce milligrams to micrograms, and then you reduce each milliliter to 100, and if you use four milliliters to reconstitute a 10 milligram vial of Milanotan 2, you take 10,000 micrograms divided by 400 and you come up with uh, 25 micrograms for every single line on that syringe. Hope that helps.